Welcome to the video. Let me put a hat on quickly. Let me put a little hat on. Uh, we're going to go bike shopping, Facebook Marketplace. This is If you like this sort of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you totally despise it, give it a thumbs down if it's the biggest waste of your time. Thumb it down if you think it's helpful. Thumb it up. Let's go shopping. All right, so we're in Adelaide, Australia. And Facebook Marketplace, there's some incredible deals on there. And I'll show you what to look for and what not to get. So this, this is, let's have a read here. This is, uh, and again, I'm going to, I might, I might know some of these people from the cycle community or whatever. This is, I'm just picking out random bikes here. There's just no hate or favoritism to anybody. This is, I'm just clicking on an advert. If you're a mate of mine or a foe of mine or whatever, that's that's collateral damage. So I'll try and not put the names there, but just share my honest, honest opinion. So I'm just clicking on stuff, commenting uh, on the video. So he, note the group set isn't working properly. Not sure what's wrong with it. The price is reduced. Um. So this is DI2. This is, looks like a DI2 10 speed, which is a, I've got one of those, the DI2 is shit. All right. It's great when it works. It's fucking awesome. But it's shit really, because eventually it's going to die on you. All right. So your Jurace or your SRAM or your Campag groups, it's eventually going to hit the bit as this, unfortunately, this 10 speed group set is, is going to be cooked. So it's it's a real tragedy. Anyway, so this is a thousand bucks. Um, it's worth five hundred bucks. You know, you got a group set that doesn't work. So this bike is a single speed. You know, it's a single speed or beer for a thousand bucks. I think not. Also, my concern is here at the steerer. It doesn't have. I, I would highly say unless this person who's been watching my videos uh, or has a really 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 good bicycle mechanic who's up to speed, is that their plug is going to be too shallow and this bottom steerer bolt here is going to be crimping into that steerer now the steerer could be it's a 50 50 steerer could be cracked or it could be totally fine either way it needs a long plug all right so that's the thousand dollar or be a single speed bargain or what's the other bargain or unbargain unbargain all right what have we got here we got a an old tarmac specialized tarmac it looks in good condition Looks really good condition. Less than 200 Ks. I, 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 I agree. Um, currently set up for a wife who's 170 sale due to baby. So that's, this is a great, this is like a baby bargain, all right? Generally, people have kids, they stop riding, finances, time, hormones, energy, cycling, fitness gets the back burner. That's why I get a vasectomy, save money. Um, anyway, so this is this looks like a great deal. This, so I should say this bike is in immaculate condition, ridden by the wife. Look at these chain rings; they're shiny. You could comb your hair, so you could do your makeup on those chain rings. They're shiny. So this bicycle, DT Swiss wheels, it looks all stock. It's in great condition. It's got a white saddle, and you notice how the saddle's really, really white because it hasn't been ridden much. So that's, that's a good sign. Also, we're looking here on the uh, on the chain stay. There's no grease marks. The chain looks brand new. The chainings look brand. This is a bike that's done low miles. I can tell straight away from looking at it. I can see the sheen on the rim. This is a brand new bike, and it confirms less than two hundred k's. But that, that someone can easily say, "Oh, less than two hundred k's, mate. Hardly ridden it," and totally be lying. But this person is telling the truth. This bike has done fuck all k's, and these are great. When I, I love it when I see one of these on a bike. It means the rider's very safety conscious, not taking risks. Bike hasn't been thrashed. It's a good deal. Twelve fifty though. Uh, is too expensive. This bike is quite old. It would be a... Let's have a look. What, was, what year is this? This would be a... So we've got a 6700... Is that Ultegra? I can't really see. Uh, yes, it is. 6700. So it's 10 speed. So we're talking 2011. This bike for me is worth 600 bucks. Generally half the price of what's advertised is what it's worth. Generally. Tires also flat as well. Great indication this bike's... Again, just it, it wants to be sold. It, it's just taking up space. Give me 600 bucks. You're good to go. Fantastic. Next one. We have an Azalco Focus Chrono. Uh, it's the old 10 speed mechanical. Look how long that fucking cable housing is. That's going to hook someone's derailleur, isn't it? Got the zips on there. Um, blah, 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 blah. We've got here mechanical 11 speed. 11 speed? Oh, it is too. It's 10 speed cranks. So same, same. Uh, it comes with Mavic training wheels. So it's false advertising. So the advertising, you know, do you love it when they advertise with the bling wheels? Oh, actually, not, sorry, not these ones. It should be at the top here. 
not wheels included. Bicycle is currently UCI legal position. Um, so the police won't pull you up. Great bike to get. Blah, 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 blah. So it's uh, 1500 bucks. Yeah, it's not too bad. But it, gang, gang. Um, again, 11 speed mechanical Durace crank set. It's a little, bit, a little bit false advertised there, isn't it? It's like it's a mechanical Altegra with the Durace cranks 10 speed. All right, so it's a little bit of a, you know, for me, that that's a little bit. It could be like, oh, you know, I, I didn't understand the question, but it's, yeah, it's for me, it's, it's not a very, it's a bit, not shady, but it's like, you know, unclear, unclear. And that could be interpreted as, as shady or the person's a total noob, doesn't what he's talking about. So, uh, deal or not deal, I'll give him a thousand bucks. All right, next one. Next one, let's, let's go to, oh, this, this one looks interesting. We're going to do some blink bikes. Let me put some power in this thing. Oh, giant propel, 600 bucks. Price drop. I mean, it's been there for a while. Uh, 600 bucks for this bike. It's frame set. What have we got? We've got pedals, cranks. Assuming they're your size and changing uh, preferences. Handlebars, they come. Handlebars ready to fail. What's the deal? Second hand handlebars I'm always wary of. So this bike is a propel, and they were infamous for shitty brakes. Oh, it's got a crack in it. It's got a crack in it. Uh, cracked. Here we go. 600 bucks. Looks like it's been repaired. Yes, it has. Okay, so um, not a bad deal. I'd give him 300 bucks. I'd give him 300 bucks. Assuming that is your... The issue with here is the reason why Giants aren't worth anything much aftermarket is because of the ISP. So may not be your seat height. Uh, so it looks like an 82 top of the saddle to 10 of BBs for 82.5. So if that's that's a pretty that's pretty big. I'm like 74 seat height, same as Peter Cigar. Lance rode 75.8. So this is 82. So long legs. I'll give him 300 bucks. 200 bucks maybe. All right, let's go some bling. Let's see what we've got. Let's go see some S works. Let's go some bling Chinese, Asian made frames. What have we got in the S works? All right, so we've got. S works here. We have uh, S works two thousand bucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, this bike is fast. So they're trying to sell it up. There's a reason they're so expensive, new. Yeah, because there's a fucking insane markup on them. All right, so what we do? What are we dealing with here? We're dealing with a a frame that's been built up with a 105 group set, Syrian wheels, clicky free wheel, um, Dena Pro stem and bars, 2000 bucks. Let's have a look. So, this frame to me is on its own 600, 700 bucks worth. The group set, 300 bucks. So, 900. Um, those wheels, they look like the original Mavic Syriums. Uh, this is sterling. So, the group set's in good condition, sort of, medium condition. Uh, two hundred bucks in the group set. So it's, yeah, done a bit, of, done a bit of wear. These are indeed, these are twenty year old Mavic Serums in nineteen ninety nine. These are the ones that Lance Armstrong made Mavic famous for. This bike is is that a crack in that? Was that a crack then? There's some little mark up here. You, you, you don't know this is what the condition of this bike really. You'd have to take the steer out and inspect it. I'd give them a thousand bucks. You know, thousand bucks. You got a a five year old frame. You got twenty year old wheels. A five year old group set that's done miles. You know, two thousand bucks. You dreaming? A grand, a grand for this one. A grand. Those wheels are worth a hundred bucks. I should know they're not. They're worth fifty bucks. The free hub's already fucked. So a grand, maybe eight hundred bucks. Probably eight hundred bucks because you're gonna have to get new wheels. So eight hundred bucks. Okay. What we got here? We got. Uh, we got what we got here. We've got another Stess Works and there's a long plug in there. Assume it doesn't have any price drop. Six grand. Must sell all offers considered. Meaning I'm on my knees. Give me an offer, please. Uh, six point eight kilos, no pedals. Only three thousand. Uh, okay, so it doesn't come with the power meter. So you know, um, six grand. Fucking. 
demon or as a mechanical. It's like, come on, man. Like, all right, let's break it down. The frame set, SL5, in good condition, maybe not cracked. 800 bucks to 1,000 bucks. Group set on this bike, you don't get any cranks, so you're looking derailleur, brakes, shifters, three, 400 bucks. So, you know, we're talking a bit over a grand. Those wheels, 500 bucks, 300 bucks. This bike for me, no cranks, max. Yeah, 13, 1400 bucks. You want six grand for it. <laughs> Dreaming. Uh, another S Works here. S works. I mean, S works is just a Chinese made frame assembled in Taiwan with a fancy sticker. That's all it is. All right, so I've got four grand here. E tap. This is getting a little bit better. Okay, so this advert I like. It's very accurate, isn't it? You know, there's no like, ah, oh, no wheels, no blah blah blah. It's like you know, it should be. If you're not going to include wheels, put that at the stop at the start versus someone's going to read all that time, invest emotional time, reading your ad, and it's oh, there's no cranks, no wheels, no handlebars. It's like. Just make that clear from the get-go. How we do anything in life, so we do everything. So we've got a 58 S-Works Venge, meaning it has the S-Works sticker on it. Uh, ETAP 22, so 11 speeds, so outdated. Uh, SRAM red brake set, carbon wheels, the 404s, uh, 4,000 bucks. Uh, I would say the group set, 1,000 uh, frame. Oh, you can go for it, baby. You can take it. Let me, no, let me, let me inject it. Let me inject that little SD card for you. Uh, I thought you tapping there like a magpie. All right, so we got four thousand bucks. Yeah, it's, it's no warranty on that. Uh, it's a brand new price tag. Four thousand bucks. You can get a really nice bike, brand new, with warranty for four thousand bucks. So the group set's worth about a grand ish. Frame, yeah, five to eight hundred bucks. I would say this bike's worth, you know, two and a half grand. Two and a half grand. I don't know what condition it's in. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I can't see many scratches in there, and it hasn't been dropped too much. Uh, it does look like a low mileage bike. The carbon wear on the rims, mm, I can see a bit of wear there. I can see a bit of discoloration in the, in the carbon there. I have zips, so, you know, it's done up, the bolts are done up pretty well. Is there a little bit of a buff mark there? Looks like he's had some TT bars on there. Um, crank chain rings, yeah, there's a bit of wear there. There's a bit of wear there. It's, it's got speed play pedals, so maybe not been that hard. Um, the derailleur, I can't see any scratches on the side there, so the bike hasn't been dropped on the side. It's, it's very clean. Let's, I'll show you that. Looks like it's been very, very clean, so this person's. You can tell, tell why there's a yard as well. Look how clean it is. Not much seeing to get around. Because my place is fucking syringes and cats and dead snakes laying around. So it's very clean. Well maintained. Looks like it has a bit of a bit of Mr. Sheen sprayed on there. I'd say this bike, it's the worth the most at the moment. I'd say two and a half grand. Two and a half grand would be a fair price. Maybe. Maybe two and a half grand. That'd be max. All right. What else we got? With S Works, we got uh, some shoes. Let's have a look here. Everyone loves some cheap shoes. Never used SX Road Shoe, 44s, 325 bucks. Um, yeah, sort of, is, it, is that retail? I'm not sure, but that shoe shouldn't cost more than that, really. I love this one, this one here. Oh, these are my size, size 45. Okay, I might, I might grab these. Or Norwood. Okay, I might suss these out. Uh, okay. White shoes, are, white shoes are a bad idea, aren't they? White, white shoes are a bad idea. Like, what, what, are, what are people thinking of white shoes? What, what, why are designers putting out white shoes, really? They get so dirty and look so skanky so quick. Um, what else we got here? Specialized road stems. Jeez. New old stock. Eh? So, 15 bucks. Jeez. That's pretty good. No worries, that's all right. Not a bad deal. Might grab one of those myself. Uh, well, let's, let's go. What's another? Blair? We got an LA for free. Oh, you love it when they stay free. Okay, so do wants the S Works paint job. 
send it to China, mate. 100 bucks. All right, let's go bling. Let's go tr uh, Trek Imonda. Got cat allergy. Excuse the snuffly snufflies. Trek Imonda ALR. Uh, thousand bucks. What groups have we got in there? Is that Tiagra? Um, oh, it's brand new. Jeez. So, isn't it? Looks like a check. Looks like Tiagra. So, a thousand bucks. That's alright. Got warranty. Alright. Well, what we should do is stolen. Oh, someone's got a stolen bike. Someone's stolen this bike. Uh, it's a Trek Demane. Pinched in the garage last night. Hit it at the back corner by the cover. They knew it was looking forward and took nothing else. Okay, so. Bert, Bert the Demane. So if you do see that bike, who's this owned by? Scott Petrie. Scott Petrie in Adelaide. So if you see this Trek Demane around, it's got the blue highlights in the frame. It's like an old Tegra group set on there. Caliper brakes. If you see that around, bar tape, mismatched bar tape. Then uh, Scott Petrie. Hit him up. Take some photos. Grab the bike. Um, what else we got here? Let's go to Sydney. Fuck it. Let's get on a plane. Let's go to Sydney and see what the barristers of Sydney are selling on Facebook Marketplace. Let's have a look. The barrister mammals of Sydney. All right, here we go. We've got the Mondas SL6 XS. Don't you love the fucking prices of this stuff? Like, you never put your helmet on like that. You get full of ants. So 2800 bucks for Altegra Mechanical. Tell him he's dreaming. This bike here for me is worth 1500 bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. We got a uh, Trek Monda. We got two thousand Ks done. It's, it's an older Monda S. He wants twelve hundred bucks for it. It's got one hundred five on there. That's not bad. I give him eight hundred bucks. Good condition. Check the fork though. Always pull the fork out. Let's go Cervelo. Always, that's always I always love Cervelo how expensive that people would expect they're going to get for their Cervelo it's Chinese made made in China okay so this one's this one's good frame selling it's very uh, objective there for selling the frame 2,000 bucks fucking hell dreaming um, no warranty and they break a lot so well, I should when I say break I don't mean they fail they just the rattlers pull off you get paint cracks in them uh, bottle mounts pull out things like that so not unsafe but just uh, yeah anyway 2000 bucks for a second hand carpet frame you get a brand new one for a thousand off Duran Rider uh, what have we got here oh here we go oh, let's, let's try and find something that's, that's sort of funny to look at uh, this one here 6000 6000 bucks 6000 dollars for a uh, an old you know, ETAP, 11 speeds, already outdated, bro. You get it's probably brand new for six grand. Um, all right, so here we go. This is what we're dealing with 6,000 bucks. Frame, 500 bucks to 800 bucks. So that's, you know, group set with power meter, 1,500 bucks. So I'm talking about two, two, two wheels, 500 bucks. So, you know, two, seven, three grand max. This bike's worth 3,000 bucks max. Max. Uh, here we go. It's not a bad deal. 1500 bucks. Alright, so we get the whole bike here for uh, 1500 bucks. That's a bit more fair. 10 speed. 10 speed. First of all, that is an issue. That's a safety issue there. I would be dropping this fork out straight away. If you're serious, buy. Get to pull the fork out, have a look for cracks. And get yourself a 10 centimeter cold agar plug in there. 1500 bucks. You've got the head Ardennes wheels, which are pretty pretty strong. Um, it's one only a tall. Use it on the indoor trainer. So the carbon at the back could be the carbon stays, the, the dropouts could be bent or damaged. This bike for me. I'd give you 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Here we go. Now this is the velo owner. 25 year old bike. This five year old bike. 
five-year-old bike. Uh, what wheels are these? What are these wheels? What are these wheels? Don't recognize the wheels. They're Chinese. They're Chinese cum wheels. No brand. Again, seven point kilos. Seven point one kilos. No pedals. Three to four. Dreaming. This bike with no name wheels on there. Fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. And people can disagree with me, say I'm wrong, but these bikes aren't going to sell. They're not going to sell. You know, they, they're going to be. You could hit them up a year later. Still got that bike? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not disc. They're not DR2 or something. Just, or you're just old. I'm not saying disc is better. I'm just saying that's its current. So, so it's basically like trying to sell an iPhone four. You know what I mean? So they pretty sell an iPhone four. Let's make your iPhone fours are. Let's have a laugh. Why would you sell a five year old phone for prices that you know? iPhone 4, 50 bucks, there you go, all right? That's what your Cervelo's worth, iPhone 4. Same deal, man, and people are dreaming, but uh, that's just the reality, let's go, let's go note. People are fucking dreaming, especially in the cycling world. Note 10, Note 10 5G, uh, 1,500 bucks, 1,500 bucks. So yeah, they're selling 1,500 bucks is to go for a $2,000 phone. So this is a phone, yeah, this is brand new in the wrapper, Two years warranty, brand new. And it's already 25% less than store price. All right, so it's hilarious. And that's brand new, brand new in the box. All right. You buy a $10,000, let's go, uh, what's, what's another brand? Um, what's, what's Pinarello, let's go Pinarello. Let's go the, the expensive Chinese carbon. Pinarello, let's go, this goes Pinarello. Uh, F10, eh? Let's go. So what's what S10 going for? That should we'll just we'll cancel that. Let's go Pinarello. If yeah, people are just dreaming, thinking that their bike is worth more than it is, uh, so let's have a let's have a laugh here. Let's have a laugh here. Uh, let's find it. a Cipollini. A Cipollini. Look, like, look at look at the spaces in this thing. It's had four clips. That still looks like it's fucking bent already. So yeah, well, that's uh. Who's dreaming? Dreaming. This would be a fucking heavy slug. I'm, I'm done for that one. It'd be a heavy slug. All right, what have we got here? What have we got here? S works Fenge, two and a half grand. So let's, let's get more like it. 1500 bucks, I give him. Uh, Ram, here we go. A, oh, that's a very, very old. Here we don't go. Let's come on, stay, stay, stay focused, mate. Pop your little med pills. Stay focused. There doesn't seem to be any Pillarellos in Sydney at the moment. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, here, oh, Lance Armstrong bike. All right, so we have a an old bike. Let's have a look at this one. This is a bit of a classic one. It's in Sydney. It's fifty four centimeter. Two thousand two. I remember this exact uh, paintway. Wow, it's done very low miles. These wheels have anyway. They're very flat. There's not much corrosion in the eyelets. Bontrago race lights, nine speed Ultegra. It's been dropped a couple of times, a few scratches there. Very good condition this bike is in. There's not much corrosion going with the bonding there. Sometimes I used to separate, but uh, these carbon bikes are very, very strong. Again, the seat, it's done a few miles, but not much. That's, that's a stock seat, stock saddle. That isn't a stock, though. Get rid of these. These are bad because they can slip. The quick release. Again, there's, there's, look at the stickers. So this bike hasn't been ridden much in rain. There's not much corrosion on the stem going on there. Original... Original uh, stem cap. Wow, his brakes still very good condition. A bit dirty, but nothing. The headset's been replaced. These bikes came stock over Cane Creek. So I'm not sure why it's been replaced. Um, shifters had a few spills. We're all parked upside down on Gravel Road. Still got the original bars. Wow, 17 years on. This bike's 17 years old. Wow, Maybe like it's yesterday. Very good condition. Very good condition. No corrosion there. This bike is very good condition for the money. Uh, it's you know I would give them two hundred bucks, but uh, it's also five hundred bucks. Not a bad bike either. You know this bike retailed at three and a half thousand dollars, brand new. Seventeen years old though, is in great condition, but it doesn't have compact cranks, so you'd have to put some compact cranks in there if you fancy yourself as a hill climber. Otherwise, 
great deal. I'd pull the fork out, check for any uh, cracks and stuff like that. The bike is very low miles, very low miles. Price is firm. Well, that could be a bit of an issue there. I'll give them 200 bucks. Or if you're a collector, it's worth 500. Let's say, here we go. Cipollini, Bond, custom, custom built Bond. Jesus Christ, 12,000 bucks, 10 grand. Dreaming. I got, this is my Chinese carbon bike. Yellow. Wow. 10 grand. It's a nice looking bike, but I'd, I'd get a frame off Duran Rider. And if you crash it and crack it, you don't have to cry. So, Pinarello Paris. Look at this 1998 Pinarello Paris. Fucking epic. 2.5. Classic. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Not sure about those bars though. <laughs> that looks something like some uh, Chris King headset. So yeah, for for this for the right person who has a sentimental value to this bike, it, it would have some sort of uh, have, have some sort of value to them. For me though, this bike's worth five hundred bucks. Um, let's go. Let's go to Candale again. We have here a Super 6, 56 cm of SRAM Red, non-compact cranks. It's got BB30 adapter in there. This bike for me is worth mm, 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Creaked. So yeah. I would say yeah. 800 bucks. 800 bucks. It is a quite an old. This frame's about nine years old nine years old 800 bucks ram red for me it'd be worth 600 bucks because i'd have to change cranks compact there you go and my prices are more than what a bicycle shop would buy or trade in for so just let you know there. not being harsh just being industry standard trek madone so we've got the madones uh, we have Trek Madone. So it's an old one here. It's an old 2000. And, uh, I think it's a 2011 model. 